So, sir, my question to you is that, like, like right now, I'm just about to start my thesis writing. So, is there any tips that I have to follow be, before I go ahead and start that part? Mr. Chantan, this is a great question that you have shortlisted. And of course, uh, people struggle with this. And sometimes people even say that, sir, we have written almost everything, but our guide is saying that your thesis has everything, but your thesis is not looking encouraging. And mm -hmm. thesis would face lots of, uh, you can say, review comments, and which will even delay the time to defense your PhD work. Mm -hmm. And even lots of master students and PhD students even give me this problem that, sir, how we can improve our thesis writing. So the first thing is, I will give you some generalized ideas and tips so that you, can, you should know that before you should start writing and when you are writing, and of course, when you have completed your thesis, what you should do. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, don't start because as a programmer, we always say to the students, don't go to the compiler. First of all, understand the data structure, understand the algorithm, compile the program in your hand, do some theoretical type uh, programming and then go to the programming structure. So similarly. So the first thing is you have to structure your ideas. Of course, you have to worry that how the order of the work should be which is very important because yeah. the first thing is, sir, even though you are a good chef, but if your presentation is not okay, you are not a very good chef. You have yeah. to structure, you have to imagine that what you have to present, how you have to present and what will be the structure of presentation. Yeah. Second thing, keep on writing. Don't think that, okay, you have to go for introduction, then literature. I will tell you in the later part of my answer that how to write and what should be the order of writing. Second, uh, the third and the important thing is that you should understand what is the expectations of the examiner. What is the expectation of your guide? So for that, there are lots of websites through which you can download the thesis for free. You just write on Google, download thesis for free, and you can even find lots of websites. Okay, so that is not a problem. And even you should read some books from Springer that how to write thesis, how to write effective thesis, how to write the proper dissertation for masters and PhD students, please do that. Then of course, your personal experience, your reading, your presentation, your existing thesis, your consultancy with your friends who already completed the PhD is also super important. Take tips from them, learn from them, very important. Mm -hmm. And of course, which is very important for you that you should check the logics that, okay, if you have proposed something like in deep learning, if you have proposed something for IoT, is everything being communicated? Have you mm -hmm. completed your, at least your architecture, your model, everything have you completed? Nothing is pending, especially mm -hmm. people make mistake that they don't clear their methodology. They don't sometimes, sometimes they don't do the analysis section properly. Sometimes mm -hmm. some results part get missing. So. Mm -hmm. Be careful for that. Have a check note properly in your uh, planner that, mm. okay, sir, this is the planning. Mm. After that, don't rush. You can take a help from your, uh, from your friend who is already a PhD. You can even take help from your guide that, sir, this is the rough thesis. This is what I think. Because today when even I'm doing some collaborative research papers, I don't tell my team, okay, start writing. We first of all uh, go for a brainstorming session that, okay, what should be the structure of the paper? What should be introduction? What should be the literature? After that, what should be the structure? Then we should distribute our work, which is very important. Take the feedback. And last yeah. but not the least, proofread your work. Now, these are my basic tips that you should need to understand that this should be the starting point, the requirements, and that's how you can create the thesis. Now coming, because I'm a PhD in computer science, and frankly speaking, I have taken three months to write my thesis. Mm -hmm. And in that three months, I, I faced lots of good works. I faced lots of challenges also. Now, let me explain you one by one. Now, the first thing is for writing the thesis, the first thing that the people always start is go for introduction. No. The first thing that you have to understand is to write the literature review because literature mm -hmm. review is already there with you. You already know what ideas you have taken as base and then you are structuring your work on that basis. So write the literature review section first. That should be chapter number two. Mm -hmm. After that, you should start the two chapters side by side. You can mm. do introduction and even you should start explaining your methodology that mm. what is your system model or how you have proposed this approach, everything. Mm. After that, 
because let me tell you even i am doing lots of thesis you can say proofing works even i am doing lots of uh, you can say uh, as a thesis examiner i'm uh, i get lots of thesis from india korea and even from uk that's a please check our thesis and the major mistake that i found that the people always make mistakes with regard to the analysis section and of course mm-hmm. the results section. so they have to be very much properly aware of this section mm-hmm. and one important thing that people should not forget that you have to compare your work like suppose i proposed a protocol and even you proposed a protocol don't compare with standardized protocols compare with some existing works also because mm-hmm. you need to compare that how your work is better than existing works mm-hmm. after that write proper appendix but please make the diagrams properly because most of the people do images.google.com and they just copy paste those images it's a wrong doing you have to reconstruct your diagrams and you can use visio very important and of course after that it is my suggestion to all of you that you can use grammarly software in order to uh, proofread your work of course mm-hmm. it is very important and of course you can type your thesis in word or in latex depending on you but you need to understand the table of contents one by one so everything should be done clearly and side by side do the references and all the references should be in apa style and many people also ask me this question what should be the probable maximum number or minimum number for thesis so i always give a one rule of thumb that uh, don't go for a bigger thesis because when the examiner comes so he doesn't have the time to read whole of your papers if i as a thesis examiner if thesis come to me i just focus mostly that what are the gaps in existing works is being done second i work on uh, the proposed work then i work on the comparison and then after that i work on the analysis approach mm-hmm. i don't i am not i am least interested to uh, see the introductory part because that mm-hmm. we already okay mm-hmm. so it is my another tip to all of you which i forget to give you that once you complete your literature review give at least 9 to 15 lines what mm-hmm. exactly are the existing gaps what mm-hmm. exactly is the part of the problems that you understood in existing works that led to the motivation so that we should know that what are the problems in existing works and that is how the work that is being proposed is novel so mm-hmm. that is the justification and of course coming to the pages you can take the limitation from 95 pages to 120 125 pages that is ultimate and for the references take the references up to like 80 to 150 or 120 130 references as per ap style will be perfect so have the proper list of diagrams have the proper list of tables properly abbreviated properly acknowledgement section the structure of thesis will be good and of course you have some websites where you can download the free thesis and uh, you can take the idea from that also so that will be my tip for thesis and uh, don't for, uh, and don't forget thesis is your representation devote mm. the time for planning mm. devote the time for structuring and then devote the time for writing because before writing proper planning proper execution and proper maintenance and checking of the work is really important and read your thesis before you give it to the guide so that everything is in order mm. no subheadings are pending diagrams are in proper shape uh, tables are properly labeled and everything is cited in the text that should be the final tips and tricks from my side thanks so much for this thank you so much dr dr you're welcome